Hello everyone, good evening. So today we are going to see sending SMS from Pega using AWS SNS. So this is a very small topic, but very useful in current world. Okay, so for anything like we are like using multi factor authentications using our mobile SMS OTP to verify your identity. Okay, be it for the password reset or if we are doing any transactions. Okay, so in Pega, this is this use case is also important. Okay. So we'll see that how we can send this. Okay, so for that, like a Pega will be that like the sender. Okay, application. So Pega will be the applications, and we are finally sending the SMS. So here we'll be using that AWS SNS. So Pega by default supports this one only as of now. Okay, if you want to send SMS right before this one, uh, there are like some ways. Okay, through the services, obviously we can create connect rest or we can create connect soap and through we can send that. Okay, we can use third party API. So here we are, we are going to use AWS SNS and which Pega supports out of the box. Okay, so AWS is a, a simple notification service. Okay, so let's start and go ahead. Okay, and see how we can do that. So here I have mentioned that configuration steps okay or the end to end steps which we have to do so what first step is we have to create the access key so it's like aws sns is just the api which aws is giving an api so what we are going to give okay we are going to give the details okay that this is the details like the s like key details okay and this is the sender and this is that like a receiver okay and this is the message like we do for the e uh, like email as well right we give the smp details smp SMTP details and then sender informations and then receiver information. So similar to that we have to give here also but here we need to call like Pega will internally call that API so we just need to create that account which we will be seeing that but before that first things which you need to do is create access keys from IAM portal in AWS account okay. After doing that what we will be getting is that we will be getting a key and uh, key and the secret okay and the next is that in Pega we need to create a SMS account okay from category integrations resources so we are going to see that one and then finally Pega has given out of the box activity called PX and SMS with uh, okay uh, with required parameter to test so we need to run with required parameter here I missed it parameter to test so we just need to pass that required parameter and so once we test this one let's say, let's say if you want to use in your flow or anywhere okay you can call this activity uh, i think there is some um, automation shape like the uh, flow shape is also there but i didn't it, i didn't find it out so i found this activity and i i'll be ca uh, calling this like let's say if you have to call it from the flow just draw drag an utility and use this uh, activity okay to send an sms so let's go ahead and, and see that so let's first step which I'm saying so what you need to do here one more important things is required that uh, if you're not in production so you might need to add few uh, sandbox destinations phone numbers so you need to add few phone number and you need to verify so test phone number so I have already verified my phone number for the testing purpose so here you need to create one topic and inside that like first you need to create a topic so if you see I've already created a topic inside that one if it'll come to text messaging, you need to add that phone numbers, destinations phone numbers. So you can add as many as you want, okay? And then it will just verify. It will send again a one OTP and it will verify you have a valid phone number. So that you need to do. And then second things you need to do is uh, this one in IM portal, you need to create access keys. Okay, so here you can see that this is my access key and then i've already copied that secret code so this is the two informations which is required okay from the aws side and then you need to configure the test um, number okay this is the two things now what we need to go and do we need to go to pega okay and here you'll see that under integrations resources we have sms account okay so here i've already created one test account so i'll show you it just required like if i try to create right so if i just let's say test one if i'll give and then by default it is taking F mfa notify so i didn't change okay i need to read like what all other uh, well what all other account type we can give okay so that I don't know maybe I can try by notify one also you can try but I just kept it like that and here if I'm creating okay what all things so here you can see that I will, as I was saying that Pega is just supporting as of now out of the box yes if you want to use any other provider okay then you can do you can do rest connect okay and then send that okay send the details and in that way it will work but AWS 
SNS Pega is by default supporting and it is asking for key ID secret code and then sender reason it is taking by default if you want to change you can change and then sender ID okay so I have already configured it okay so if you see here uh, I have given the key ID and then secret key and then just sender ID I just given test okay you can give anything okay now the next thing is that simply we need to go and test okay so this is what the configuration is required okay nothing much and this is the activity which I was saying that you can use it and I'll be running directly but if you want to use it from the flow as I was saying okay you can just I was looking for the shape because I, I read that we have that out of the box shape but I didn't find it out so what you can simply do drag an utility and give this shape uh, sorry this activity name in, in utility and you'll see that parameter and it will work okay so instead of doing that okay what I'll be doing I'll be running this activity directly from here okay so let me see so two in place of two so I just need to give a phone number so I'll be sending to my phone number only okay and in from uh, from Alex sender ID right so I have configured that same test here so this is the sender ID so this is what I need to give in place of test if you keep leave it blank even if it is not mandatory it will not work I tried so it didn't work and in the masses I can say that hello from Pega okay whatever you want to say and then the SMS account is this one test okay so you don't have to give account type just you need to give that the, your account okay test now simply run it and so if I'll run and if I check my mobile I think I should have received that message let me see that yes I have received that message okay so this is what we need to do okay so if I just recap okay what all things we did like we created that access keys in the Amazon portal okay AWS portal in IAM portal like in AWS account in IAM portal and then we created a SMS account in Pega okay uh, and in that SMS account we gave three details access key and then secret code and then sender ID and then we ran that activity PX and SMS with required parameter and it worked so this is a very simple use case you can try and let me know uh, if it is not working for you I can definitely help you so this is it for today's session so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye